Hello, everybody. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to present some uh, results about the effectiveness of uh, case area targeted response interventions against cholera in Haiti. Uh, this work has been done uh, in collaboration with the Haitian Ministry of Health and especially uh, Dr. Edwige Michel, who made his uh, Master of Public Health thesis on this uh, topic, and also some uh, colleagues from uh, uh, UNICEF Haiti. So what is case area targeted interventions? Actually, uh, these, uh, these methods has been successfully implemented for polio and uh, Ebola outbreaks. For cholera, it's a pretty old concept. We found a publication describing the, the principle uh, almost 40, 50 years old. As over the, first de the past decades, it's been sporadically implemented, uh, but in fact poorly documented for cholera. It was named like this uh, in a publication in 2018. <coughs> And uh, in fact, uh, it seems to be nearly forgotten in uh, all official cholera cookbooks. And uh, still, the, these methods uh, is supported by the frequent household transmission of uh, Vibrio cholerae, by the observed transitory increased cholera risk among neighbors uh, of cholera cases, uh, by the significant protection, protection brought to uh, household contacts of cases when promoting uh, and washing with soap and treatment of water. And I think uh, Christine Marie George will show us very interesting results on this topic later on. Uh, and recently by a micro simulation modeling study. Nevertheless, case area targeted interventions uh, at case households and neighbors for cholera has in fact never been evaluated on the field. Since uh, mid 2013, a nationwide alert and response strategy has been uh, conducted in, in Haiti. Uh, with support of UNICEF, uh, and it's, it was based on uh, improve, improving surveillance with the creation of case line lists uh, used to uh, target within 48 hours uh, every uh, single new case at the household level and uh, the, the neighbors. And uh, mobile teams uh, run by NGOs but also the Ministry of Health were asked, were requested to, uh, to, to implement a wash package um, composed by education sessions, uh, house decontamination, uh, distribution of soaps, uh, chlorine tablets, uh, oral rehydration salts, and if possible and suitable, uh, activation of uh, water chlor chlorination points. Uh, some response also uh, included proposition of uh, chemoprophylaxis to uh, close uh, contacts of cases. And so our study objective was to evaluate the effectiveness of CATIs uh, using a complete wash package against cholera outbreaks uh, over three years in one of the ten departments of uh, the country, which is Central Department, one of the most affected ones. Um, so we conducted a quasi-experimental observational study uh, because we could not randomize uh, the CATIs nor control them. Uh, nor blind them for obvious uh, ethical reasons. We first identified the outbreaks at the locality level uh, using the case line list, but also the, the, the culture uh, results, and using mixed criteria I won't detail. Um, we then characterized the initial severity of outbreaks uh, using number of cases and positive stall cultures during the first three days. We then characterized the, the response to uh, every outbreak in terms of promptness, in terms of intensity, and uh, the outbreak out outcome in terms of morbidity, which is the number of cases from the fourth day of, uh, of outbreak, uh, and outbreak duration. And we uh, also characterized several other covariates uh, used to um, adjust our results. I won't go into too much details uh, on the statistical methods, but basically, uh, we confirmed the presence of a strong confounding by indication effect, uh, which means that the most severe uh, outbreaks were uh, received m more active response. And so we had to take this into account for further analysis. Uh, and so we co compared the outcome of responded outbreaks, mobility and duration, according to the response promptness and the response intensity. And so we, we ran four separate analyses using uh, mixed models and uh, survival models. And from uh, incidence ratios and hazard ratios, we uh, calculated CATI effectiveness estimates. So this uh, graph shows the daily evolution 
of uh, the 10 thousand uh, suspected cases included in the study, uh, the over 400 positive cultures, uh, the rainfall, and uh, the, the 456 outbreaks uh, which distributed over the, the, the period, and the nearly 4,000 uh, complete cases uh, that were analyzed. This uh, map shows the special distribution of those uh, 456 outbreaks in 200 uh, 90 localities, and you see that 39% uh, of the, the outbreaks re received a response uh, over this period. So the first analysis concerned the outbreak morbidity according to the response promptness, and we found that the sooner uh, the first complicity was implemented, the fewer uh, cholera uh, suspected cases were recorded from the fourth day of outbreak. On this graph, you see that every black dot represents an outbreak and the outbreaks are grouped by stratas of uh, uh, response promptness. In green, you have outbreaks that were responded uh, within one day, and in red, the outbreaks that were responded after seven days. And you see that the later the, uh, the response was implemented, the more uh, cases were recorded from the fourth day of outbreak. From this, uh, we estimated adjusted effectiveness of a response within uh, uh, one day compared to a response after seven days, and we got a 74% uh, effectiveness estimate. The second analysis uh, considered the outbreak duration, duration according to the response promptness, and we found that the sooner uh, the first complicity was implemented, the shorter the duration of outbreaks uh, was. Those curves, they represent the, the, the survival uh, of outbreaks. That means uh, uh, the time necessary for the outbreaks to disappear. On the red one, you have all the outbreaks uh, responded after seven days, and you see that we had to wait almost 50 days before observing that half of the outbreak actually disappeared. Whereas on the green curve, uh, which concerned outbreaks uh, responded within one day, 50% uh, of them disappeared before 10 days. And from this, we uh, estimate adjusted effectiveness of a response within one day versus seven after seven days of 64%. We ran other analyses using another uh, response indicator, which is the response intensity uh, <coughs> defined by the number of CATIs implemented uh, per week, and we found uh, consistent results. The more CATIs were implemented per week, uh, the less, the less uh, uh, cholera cases were recorded after the fourth day of outbreak. And for uh, the response, uh, the outbreak duration according to the response intensity, we found similar results, but the, the effectiveness uh, estimates weren't uh, significant. So in conclusion, we found that uh, prompt and repeated case area targeted interventions uh, appeared to significantly uh, uh, mitigate, mitigate and shorten uh, cholera outbreaks in the real epidemic setting of rural and uh, semi-urban Haiti. We uh, recently uh, produced new consistent preliminary results over a four and a half year uh, period throughout IT, but at a different uh, uh, time level, which is weeks and not days, and at a different uh, special scale, uh, communes and not uh, localities. And of course, there is a great need to replicate uh, that kind of analysis in other contexts. There is also a great need to, to assess the respective impact of each component of the CATI package, uh, as well as uh, a need to optimize the, the, the best radius of uh, uh, CATI response. Based on those results, uh, we are really uh, convinced that CATIs actually contributed to get close to uh, color elimination in Haiti uh, today. And we think that CATI would definitely warrant to be better uh, integrated within uh, cholera cookbooks, such as the cholera outbreak uh, response field manual, uh, where actually it's, it's a few bullet points uh, in annex, Appendix 2 uh, as part of the initial response. But we see that in Haiti, we've been doing that for more than five years. And uh, the same in the framework for uh, development of uh, and monitoring of multisectoral national Corella plans. For those who would like to have more details, uh, we uh, posted a preprint pre -print publication uh, on, on this on the SSRN uh, website recently. And before uh, your question, I thank you for your intention. Dieu merci en pile pour